Hello, Derek. Hi, how you doing, man? Can you please tell us what's your first impression about the new amps by Markel? Um, it's really versatile. I like the fact that I can get um, a thick chunk. You know, the sound is really full, but the lead, um, the lead, the lead uh, channel is really clear. But you still have, still have meat behind it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get one thing and then you don't get something else. You know what I mean? This, I feel like this has a complete package. And I haven't even hooked up any of my effects to this dude. Like it would be, <laughs> it would be crazy. Like, would I you buy that one? Of course. Yeah. I mean, look, it's this thing is small, but it's like loud as hell. Like, what's the volume on? I this know. is 100. Dude, how, is this 112? Yeah. Like, this is crazy. I love it. Info Music Poland, Music Mesa 2012. We are here on Mark L Amplifications with one of the workers, and he's going to tell us something about the new amplifier Sub Zero. Hello. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Can you tell us something about this new beautiful amplifiers? Yeah, this is old tube amplifier. Basically, it's, it's a three-channel amp, and we wanted to put uh, and take and have all simplicity as possible here in this amplifier. So it has it hasn't got so many or too many knobs, but it still has three channels: clean, crunch, and lead. Yeah, and we tried to combine the tone, um, very clean tone like Fender Twin or something like this, combined with high gain and crunch and distortion and keep it um, very dynamic also, as, dyma as dynamic as possible. And is there a foot switch included in that? Yeah, this uh, amplifier has MIDI implementation installed, so it can, it, it can work like um, with MIDI controllers like this one we have here. And uh, it can work with foot switches. Yeah, we'll, we'll, have, we'll provide a foot switch for this one, like five switch, foot switch, and, and a MIDI foot switches also. And they come in 100 watt and 60 watt, yeah? Yeah, we have we have two versions of the amplifier. Th this one you see here is um, 100 watt version, four four tubes. This is this is six six L four six L six tubes, and the other ones are six L are e L 34s. And what about the cabinets? Yeah, we also have uh, the set of cabinets. We have all cabinets available. We have four twelve, two twelve, and one twelve cabinets available. Uh, what speakers on that? Well, right now we have vintage 30s, British ones, but. Uh, in the future, we'll, we can, we'll be able to put anything else you need, actually. And how would you describe the sound they produce? Um, yeah, the sound is... Uh, clean tone is basically like Fender um, Twin. Okay, it's very punchy, very deep and very clean. The crunch is like... The, the, the construction is just it's based a little bit on the Marshall amplifiers. And it has like the dynamics of a Marshall, but the sound is modern. It's a little bit different. It's um, we just tweak it by at our own way, let's just say. And there's um, there's lead channel also, and it's got pretty much gain like for a lead channel. So is it a versatile amplifier for pretty yeah. much every player, or is it you know uh, only for rock metal music? Yeah. Uh, well, I think like m many professional musicians, all, very often they're seeking for a clean tone amp, so they buy uh, amplifier for clean for their clean tones, and then the second one for crunch and lead. And we wanted to combine and join it all together, you know, for people that they don't have to carry so much equipment. Okay. Can you briefly describe the controls for us? Yes, I s as I said at the very beginning, uh, we wanted to keep it very simple. So it has three channels. The first channel has only tone and the level of um, yeah, the level of voicing. Second channel has common regulations with the third channel and it's low, middle, and treble gain and and, and, and and the regulation of the volume. And the third is for solos. It's it's, like, it's the lead channel. So volume. Um, gain and the common regulation with the second channel. And what is the price on that unit? Well, 100 watt version will cost about around 2,200 euro, and this version will cost around 2,000 euros.